Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. I have a great PowerPoint tip for you today that will make your slides look a lot better, a lot more professional and well designed. So I wanna show you how to use shapes for adding text to your slide instead of text boxes. Now I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm on a slide from a recent 365 Ninja event presentation that I did. And sometimes on slides like this, you do actually want to have your text in a regular text box, like this text you see highlighted here. Whereas sometimes, like on this previous slide, you actually want to have your text in a shape. So this text here is in a shape, not a text box. And it's really nice to have your text in shapes if you want to actually do something other than just a plain rectangle, and if you want to have additional formatting options for your text. So what I'd recommend is go to your Insert tab, click Shapes in the ribbon, and select the shape you want to use. I have a recent shape that I want to add again. It's kind of a, a call out or a little speech bubble as I think of it. So let me modify the look of it really quickly. All right, so now I have a kind of fun shape that I like, and you can see as I have it selected that there's no actual cursor for adding text. But if you copy and paste some text right into here or you start typing, you see that you can add text. So I pasted a URL that I had here. I can highlight that text, and I can go back to my Home tab and change it just like I would any kind of text. I can also change the text alignment within the shape itself, so top, middle, or bottom. I'll keep it in the middle, but I also want to show you more options here. Then you get a format shape pop out menu on the right hand side where you can change a lot of things about the text within your shape itself. There's vertical alignment like I already showed, there's text direction, you can make your text go a different direction if you'd like. There's auto fit properties and margins and paddings that you can use to make your text kind of look exactly how you'd like it to in the shape. And I did this on multiple slides. As you can see, I have shapes with text in them. And I really like this option for adding text. You can do a lot more with this than if you were to just insert a text box or paste text directly on your slide, which also produces a text box. So hope that tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one in Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.